Hello there everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Emperor. This is myself, Macro Tomato, playing as Great Britain here in Europa Universalis 4. Thank you so much to everybody who has been following this playthrough so far. Um, seems to be one of my most followed playthroughs in a while, which is uh, absolutely delightful. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted with that, and uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, I'm certainly enjoying playing this so far. I think this DLC is a good DLC, um, probably one of the best, actually. Um, some of the, the the powers, some of the Catholicism and stuff like that, I think this is brilliant. So, uh, so yeah, it's the papacy can grab this, isn't it? Yeah, the the papacy can take these decisions here for. Um, Spend the Curia coffers on new measures of the Council of Trent, of course. Right. Portugal wants military access. Or oh, France actually went with the um, conciliatory state here. I'm one of the... Very few of us have gone with the harsh one, which is interesting. Portugal wants military access. I'm going to decline. Although if I allowed it, then Morocco would have been able to come over here and attack this. But, yeah, the, I want this to be easy. Oh, the religious seal has... Um, Expired in Amsterdam. We might be able to convert that. Excellent. Uh, okay, new air. 164. Excellent on the diplomacy, which is great because we're trying to do our exploration ideas. Um, let's go with John. That will do. Um, fantastic stuff. Can we not convert that yet, then? Oh, it hasn't actually... Uh, turn of the month, usually, is when it... Um, yeah, the religious zeal has disappeared here. Uh, ooh, discount to technology. Trash can is actually half decent. Let's go ahead and convert Amsterdam then. It's only 10 months as well. So that's going to be fine. So again, more conversions of it. Clergy losing power. Okay. Um, sure. Right. Uh, okay, fair enough. Um, let's have a look at the estates again. So... Again, we might be able to seize a bit of crown land eventually. Loyalty. I'll wait for that loyalty to increase just a little bit more there from the clergy. So, uh, yeah, we'll, I'll look into that in a minute. Seizing some crown land and then uh, picking up the extra extra bits and bobs there, like the extra admin points and stuff. Although we do have, yeah, we do have that, the monthly admin power. Uh, we got the, yeah, the monthly Diplo power. We do have that. Excellent. So do I want to just go in here and attack Castile? I'm not sure, because I feel like Granada is just going to take all of that. I don't, I don't think, although we might be able to go in straight up against Granada once the war is over. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll move this army down here to Caceres. And what have we got here? Okay, let's go up with um, a few extra infantry units. Let's go up to a 30k stack. Let's let's build that up a little bit more. Go up to our force limit. Well, not quite up to our force limit, but close enough. Um, obviously, inheriting France is going, integrating France is going to give us a whole lot of troops, and so initially we'll be massively over our force limit. But then, of course, we can state up quite a lot of this land, which is going to be very very helpful. Now, of course, we do have to be careful with our. Um, governing capacity, but at the moment we're looking quite good, so there's going to be a lot of uh, possibility to state up some territory there. And at that point, even though having France in the Union is stronger, having all of this territory and this development is going to be great. We're going to go ahead and pick up this colonist here, uh, which is going to be great. And I think we're going to look at maybe installing a colony somewhere over here if we have the colonial range. So straight away what I'm looking for are the centres of trade, really. So this one here in particular, Massachusetts. Right, colonial, it's actually very, very far away. Right, okay, so we probably do have to go and colonize over here then. Right, so we can come over this way, so I think we're going to have to start by going here. There's only 500 natives there, so that's all right. So yeah, let's let's begin the colonial adventure here. So if we go over here, that'll increase our colonial range to the point where we can colonize down there. So we're also going to go ahead and pick up the uh, Discover the Americas here for the increased settler chance. What does Settle in America give us as well? Gain a Conquistador with 80 tradition. Okay, fair enough. But then we have other trade missions here and things like that. So there's, there's other good things here. Cool, right. Build a treasury is the next mission on that side. But yes, okay, let's go over there and begin our colonial adventure. 
So, and hopefully we should have an excellent hand at doing all this colonizing here. Um, how are the, um, how have the French done with their missions? Yeah, centralized France. This is a really nice, uh, new mission tree for France, by the way. I think it's an absolutely brilliant, uh, brilliant mission tree for the French. It's, uh, been developed rather well, actually, as we, uh, as we've gone on. So, good stuff. Okay. So we're going to wait for the conclusion of this war here, uh, Granada and Castile. We're going to wait for the conclusion, see what territory they take, and if we've got a claim, if they take all of this, then we will do. Um, there's only three provinces here, so if we've got a claim, theoretically they should take the whole lot. There we go. So they have now, actually they haven't taken the whole lot, but what we can do is we're going to roll in here. So let's fabricate, no we can't fabricate another claim in Sweden. Um, let's bring home the guy from Nevers, he's already... Um, already maxed that out. So we're going to go in with this 30k stack here. Um, so just before they get any alliances, we're going to declare war. Uh, oops. The wrong one there. There we go. Declare war. So there's only one province that we have a claim on, which is this one, but I'm probably going to take quite a bit here. There we go. Right. So declare war. Uh, we have a 30k stack that does require a leader. Let's go ahead and roll. I was hoping for some siege because there's two really horrible forts here. So I was I was hoping to to get a siege pit there, but that's okay. Uh, I suppose we can bring the um, bring the fleet around and blockade this whole area. That will probably help with some siege progress. So I, su I suppose so. The papal legate has expired, so that's the diplomatic reputation gone. France is going to bring its million troops down here, but it's absolutely pointless doing that. Uh, right, let's explore. Caribbean Sea coast. Let's do that. Okay, excellent. Actually, France has got quite a lot of ships down here, so yeah, it's unlikely to uh, to change much. So obviously, splitting this up maybe not the best idea for sieging because I'm splitting up all the cannons. But at the same time, if I can just siege both of them at the same time, we're also going to attack that cavalry there. So that's going to be useful. And yeah, we have a, a full blockade down here of the uh, Grenadian coast. Which obviously provides 25% war score just by itself, so that's going to be very, very helpful. So yeah, we'll just sit here, blockade. Uh, I don't think we get attritioned here. No, we don't get attritioned here. Uh, we do have a little bit of damage, actually, to our ships. Probably because we did get attrition by going through the open seas here. Yeah, went through this open sea. Inuit people enter our colony. Right, so the first thing to do that has reminded me to do is to dock up here, <laughs> because we were taking some attrition there with those boats. So, Inuit people enter our colony, so what do we want to do? Erase the savages. So this is the ruthlessness, this is the trade option, okay, um, profit from it, or should live in peace. Local settler increase, 25%. It's only local though. Yeah, let's let's just take the the rebellion one. There's only 500 natives here anyway, so uh, we took a lot of damage there actually as well, which is not great, but uh, it's one of those things. Religious civil disorder in Brunswick. Okay. Aruba troopers lose ducats, natives lose aggressiveness, or gain prestige. Uh, I think we'll just take the prestige. There's no point in. Uh, Losing the uh, the ducats there, and we could just take the prestige for the same result. Okay, fabricate claim. Um, so let's go with Dart. Let's fabricate for some of the the southern provinces here, because I kind of want to work my way towards Denmark a little bit to to clean that up. Okay, so we're discovering part of the Caribbean here. Um, interesting to see what the French are going to do. They're just going to come in here. I was wondering whether they might come around the back here and try and attack the Grenadan stack. They are actually dropping troops over here as well, which is kind of interesting. Morocco is also dropping troops in Portugal. So I denied the military access, but Morocco still made it over there, which is fine because it means that that army can then go and stomp the Portuguese over there without Portugal running away. So that's uh, actually quite helpful. France did lose there, and that is because of a rebel stack of Castilian separatists that uh, popped up. Very interesting. Okay. All right. Okay, so we converted Amsterdam as well. Oh, question. Um, now that we've converted Amsterdam, can we possibly convert some of the Dutch? So that's Flemish. 
We're working on converting that, that, and that. Can we convert this? 121 Diplo points. Okay, we're nearly there. Drunken Explorer. Great. That's Frisian. Okay, so we have one more province of Dutch here. There's still some provinces of Dutch over this way that we might end up taking. But if we can convert this Dutch, then we the rebellions will disappear. The, the risk of rebellion will go. And that's what I need right now. I need the uh, the rebellion. Oh, the um, statesman is dead. That's a shame. Uh, hmm. Actually, plus two improved relations for one eighty two a month. Yeah, cheaper. Yeah, let's let's take that. That's got to be good. Right, let's go over here and start converting this Dutch then. So the, the risk of rebellion, I think, for Dutch is between 1550 and 1600 or something like that. It might be 1650, actually. I can't remember, but yeah, we need to obviously be careful there. But if we can convert it all, then we will have no problems whatsoever. Right. Explore. Uh, pfft. Obviously not going to do a circle navigation. Uh, Atlantic South America. Let's let's try try that one. Have a little look. Who's coming in here? Oh, the rebels are coming in here. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we're going to completely annihilate them. France has decided to come in and support anyway. So that's that's mildly helpful actually. So this siege is clearly taking a lot longer. Oh, mostly because there's more cannons over here. That's why. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Sure. He doesn't have a siege pit general. But the other thing is, once we've won this uh, this siege over here, we can then go ahead and dump the cannons into that. So that's okay. Uh, Vatican infiltration. Uh, I'll take the papal influence, uh, which actually I'm going to go ahead and go over here and grab... Hmm. Spend 600 ducats to buy indulgence. Okay. One yearly papal influence of five years. Sure. Okay. Uh, but I was thinking actually to go ahead and grab the Papal Legate for the diplomatic reputation uh, for slightly faster uh, integration over here. Also, we did lose the Statesman. So, uh, Glory Road. This is a promising land. Extra tax base in some of these uh, potential colonies. Which is obviously great news for us because uh, nobody else is really going to colonize over here. Now, Portugal is still trying to colonize over this way. But, um, yeah, there's not much. Also, Castile... Looks like they attempted to do some colonizing here as well, but they've been reduced to one province now, so it's very unlikely they're going to progress that much on those. Yeah, Karibas is actually quite big. So, that will, they'll probably go ahead and colonize the whole Caribbean by the time they're finished, but at the same time, they're losing this war over here. They're going to lose more territory. Uh, let's do Atlantic South America C. So they're just going to lose more territory here, which means that obviously they're going to be less rich. But also, if we end up taking the rest, then Caribas just becomes an independent country, which is great news for us because it means it doesn't bring in any overlords or anything like that when it comes to colonial warfare. So if I chuck the colony right next door, we'll get the colonialism cast as belly, and we can just concede colonial Caribbean, and we can snag the whole lot. Now, obviously, we'd have to core some of it, but... Uh, Unless we already had a uh, colonial nation in the area. So actually, if we create a colonial nation in the area first, that will probably be a better idea. Now, the truce with the Netherlands has expired here. Now, I'm wondering whether... So they have picked up a few alliances. They're still not part of the HRE, though, because they did leave it. Denmark would not actually join here. Could be worth going in over there. Also, maybe give Nevers a little bit of land. They're still Catholic, but I think they're... Um... Ooh, extension of the Monopoly on Wine. Yeah, I think we do want to do this. Yeah, let's let's do that. Right, so if we do that then, I think that um, picks... Uh... Yeah, maybe a... No, that's Monopoly on Wine. That's over here, isn't it? Uh... Where is it? Oh, no, no, it is the clergy. Okay, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Yeah, that'll be okay. We'll, we'll continue with that. But yeah, I was thinking about seizing some uh, some crown land at some point to then be able to um, go ahead and do another one of those interactions. Sure, two of a kind. 
Oh, yeah, the 50% cheaper Statesman. I think we're definitely going to pick that up. Uh, there was, I didn't even bother checking the other one because uh, 410, absolutely. Yes. Also, the extra Diplo point is helpful, but the diplomatic reputation is what I really wanted from that. So, fabricate another claim. Uh, let's go Elfsborg. That is actually a fourth province. The development is very low, but at the same time, um, as I pointed out in the comment section to a couple of people, um, there been some some people have questioned why I usually try and get the foothold in Scandinavia and stuff like that. The provinces are low developments, but it also means that the aggressive expansion for taking that territory is also low. So uh, it's it's just very very helpful for easy expansion. Assimilation and settlement policy expired. Oh, that was the cheap culture conversion, right? Okay. Um, have we got a? Oh, there's no colonial one. Crap. Might pick up the advisor cost reduction then. Uh, so there's a few people who are already backing that. No, I don't want to do that. You can grant titles, that's fine. Uh, maybe a bit of admin is probably also going to be fine. Lose a bit of prestige, not bothered about that. Bit of influence for the clergy, not bothered about that. Don't need government reform progress. Um... A little bit of local autonomy, yeah. Let's go ahead with a bit of uh, naval tradition loss then, that's fine. But 10% cheaper advisors is quite big. Yeah, it's big. I mean, this guy just cost me 0 0.39 right now. Now, we don't actually require the missionary strength at this current time. So do we go with 6.95 for the yearly prestige? Which could actually be quite nice. I think we'll do that. Let's switch over to yearly prestige. Just to improve the decline of the prestige there, but also plus three admin points. So try and rake in some of these points here, because our current guy is not that brilliant on on any front. So Nearly won these sieges. This is a tough, uh, tough go in here. But we're not going to take all of their territory, so... It's probably going to be absolutely fine to not get a 100% war score here. Uh, yeah, let's go for the coast then. Let's have a little look around over there. Okay, won the siege of uh, Garantar. Excellent, which is Granada. Just going to move the cannons across to there. Uh, in the end, that facilitated the siege. Uh, if France wants to go and kill the army, yeah, I've got no problem with that. That's absolutely fine. I do not have a problem with that at all. Right, let's move these guys back over here then. If they if they want to go and do that, that's okay. I'm imagining Aragon might come in here, so... You're not going to kill that. Oh. it's annoying. Oh well. Alright, fair enough. Let's, um... So we want to grab this one. We want to grab this one. That's the claim. We definitely want Gibraltar. Something like that's probably going to be okay, actually. 140. Potential coalition. Castile, Portugal, and Brittany. Eh, don't care. Oh, we could vassalize! That is very interesting. Um, you know what? They're going to be Sunni, but... Sure. Let's go ahead and subjugate here. Don't see any reason why not, actually. Uh, give me a little bit of cash. Not a lot, but a little bit of cash. So that you're a bit weak for a while. Oh, I think the Commonwealth has been formed. Okay, that was interesting. I was like, inherited country? Who inherited who? But no, it's just the Commonwealth has been formed. Okay, um, I'm going to subjugate down here, then. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> Right, so obviously the Diplo relations extra. Yeah, they're probably going to be a little bit pissed for a while. Uh, they have 45% liberty desire. I was thinking about enforcing religion. But I could just convert the land back afterwards when we annex, I suppose. Yeah, let's improve relations here. So yeah, let's let's subjugate. That's, it's an interesting one, actually. Um... That wasn't my actual plan going into the war, but I didn't actually realise that their um, 
the development was low enough that I was able to subjugate. And that obviously halts Aragon from going here. So Aragon currently has barely any routes for expansion without a big war. Tunis and Morocco, Naples, and they're unlikely to attack the Pope. So I've completely encircled Aragon here. Which is good, because it means they're not going to expand any further. They're not going to gain anything. They can develop up their territory, I suppose. Right, uh, manufactories could be a good idea. I was thinking about maybe going with some extra local defensiveness, though, in like one of the nasty forts. Could be really good, but no, I think I'm just going to go with a manufactory here. So, 0 21. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Plus 250. My goodness me. Um, I think we need to build that one. Right, uh, we need to do a little bit more exploration here. Incompetent diplomacy expired. Thank God for that. That was really annoying. Let's do South Atlantic Sea. Also, by exploring all of the New World, uh, the seas and coasts and stuff like that, we'll be able to see whether anybody's colonizing in and around here, which is really, really useful. So, so how are we doing with this colony? How, how decent? So it's 40 a year currently. Yeah, it is held back a little bit. Yeah, it is quite badly held back. So, it's going to take a while over there. That's fine. Not going to actually. Portugal is taking back some of the uh, some of the occupations here, but still, they have really bad war score here. So that's fine. Okay, so Granada is going to be an extra subject that is also going to be relatively helpful. Uh, not sure over here. I might eventually give them Sevilla though. I might just eventually give them that. Although they will then convert it, won't they? That's the problem. So unless I enforce religion first, then it's not really going to do it. So we've still got a bigger truce there with um, with Portugal. So how about we go in over this way? So I've still got really good spy network construction in Sweden, so I don't, I don't really want to bring him home. But I've got such good spy network construction over there that I, I really want to keep that going. But it might be worth going in to declare war here. Against another look. Let's have another look then. The other, the downside though is it will slow these uh, cult conversions. That is a downside because we won't be able to actually continue cult converting because we're at war with the primary culture nation. But with no Denmark, Just feed a bit of territory to um, Nevers. Now, of course, the downside is these are Protestant, so it will increase the religious unrest in Nevers. But the other thing we could do is we could maybe do a raid. We could take the Dutch provinces and try and convert them. There still are some Dutch provinces here, but yeah. What I might do is I might take these ones. Look at the development, though. Wow. But also, these are English Channel Trade No Provinces. But that being said, there's also this one here. 20 development, centre of trade. It's going to be big. And whilst their diplomacy is not that great here, I feel like this is worthwhile. So I might vassal feed a bit here. Instead of taking the land for myself, I think I will go ahead and vassal feed. But I probably might take Antwerp. So I'll use Nevers Casas Belli here. Let's charge in. They've also got rebel problems over here. So I'll use my 30k stack this way, and then France will bring the rest of their, their bring their troops over. So uh, we might want to actually go ahead and come over this way. They don't have that many ships. Uh, they do have an admiral, but they've only got two heavies against 12 transports, so that's, yeah, so we're definitely going to be in a better spot here. Also, they're going to conveniently run into me here with these three heavies, which is great. Bordeaux is now the seat of a cardinal, lovely. So they're going to run into, oh, they ran into my lights, really? Um, actually, that's rather good. They had nowhere to run to either, so we, uh, we destroyed them. Okay, a bit of damage, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, brilliant. So, 
that's blockading there. Actually, let's move the 15 heavies and plonk them over on that side over there to blockade that coast. They've also got their country split here, which is interesting. Let's go in over this way. And, of course, let's transfer this occupation to Nevers because we are looking to feed them that province. Of course, we still take the aggressive expansion and stuff like that, but, yeah, it's not that not as bad. Oh, they have another... There's another navy over there. But again, they're all lights, so that should be nice and easy. And then these are the galleys, so worst come the worst, uh, we will kick them out and we'll send the galleys in to go and support. Narman has come under occupation. Excellent. Let's go and go with that. So I think what I'm going to look to do here is I'm going to go... These two provinces feed to Nevers and then maybe take Antwerp. Because uh, we might incur a coalition uh, if we're a little bit... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and have a look at Africa as well. But we may possibly incur a coalition if we take too much here because there are a lot of... We've already got quite high aggressive expansion with a lot of the countries in this area. And the development is that high. Yeah, uh, France is going in here to smash, which is great. Uh, I was rather hoping they would actually go and siege there, but they're not. Uh, ooh, artillery cost. That's really annoying, because I was actually just going to create some cannons here to help with the siege. Now, I think... Oh, no, we can still cost a bit. Ooh, there's some... Um... Hey, no, team seven. no, let's go and kill them. We need to uh, need to make sure we kill them. We don't want those guys uh, winning anything. So, yeah, let's come in over here. Granada's come over here to help as well. And I might go ahead and enforce religious unity on them. They'll be pissed, but... Increases their liberty design massively as well. So, might have to placate rulers. Which is not going to be brilliant, but oh well. Naples has called for a crusade against the Ottomans. Fair enough. France is doing most of the, uh, the heavy lifting here, in all honesty, but that's fine. Würzburg, Republic, okay... Yeah, these cult conversions are nearly done, which is great. Absolutely brilliant. We need to convert these. Yeah, it's taken a while, but that's okay. Natives. Uh, we can tech up here. Uh, we're quite far ahead of time here, so we'll, we'll wait. We're also going to be doing some pouring here anyway, so uh, let's do the uh, the coastline over there. And then after that, we might be able to get, we'll have to get rid of the explorer, because I don't think we're going to need him. Oh, you've gone to siege over this way. That's kind of helpful, actually, because uh, if we can separate piece these guys out, we'll get a bit more money. Also, make the wall last a bit longer to reduce some of the aggressive expansion. I don't know. I'm still debating whether to force religion on... Uh... Oh, we sunk all those ships. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, good. We didn't barely took any damage either as well. So, Ooh, Hamburg... Um, actually, we're gonna. I know the blockade's helpful, but I'm gonna move the, the ships over here because there's Hamburg. Yeah, let's make sure we're over there. Make sure we're in position. Although we probably won't actually end up sieging Hamburg, but we'll see. See what possible aggressive expansion we'll end up with. Should we? Uh, should we take these? Okay, that that fort's been won as well. Yeah, so if I enforce religious unity on Granada, they really will hate me, but and it could be okay. So people like Morocco might end up supporting their independence, but how long is the truce? It's quite long. we got time. Let's do it. So they're going to be pretty pissed for a while, but that's okay. So they're probably going to break that siege and bugger off back to their country. We'll see at the turn of the month. So, But we now have the same religion, so obviously that changes the opinion a little bit. Amsterdam is now the seat of a cardinal. Excellent. So yeah, we have the same religion now, so obviously that means the, uh, the relationship is naturally slightly better. So yeah, they are absolutely rebellious at the moment, but the relationship is better because of the uh, same religion. So, also, because they're Catholic, we could eventually rule marry as well. 
Castile and Portugal are friends. <laughs> you mean the one province minor that is Castile. <laughs> right, so that will take a while to to sort out here. So I might just um, placate some local rulers there. Because that will take a while to burn away. Yeah, that will take a while. So that's going to be a long time before Granada decides to... Uh, to be loyal again. But if they have a good opinion of us, then that's going to help. Is, do they have any debt or anything we can pay off as well? Or No, they don't. So That's annoying. Yeah. I don't know. They did actually go ahead and win that siege for me, though, which is kind of interesting. But they're now going to disappear back to their own country. I know that's going to happen, but that's interesting. Right, Truce of Brittany is up as well. So we could take over Defender of the Faith, but I don't think so. We've lost a siege. Oh, they were sieging over this way. Right. Who wants to join the war? Austria. Okay. Uh, no need. I was very confused there. Actually, uh, Hamburg is currently being sieged up. That's interesting. We can, however, super peace against Lundberg. Uh, so let's take their money. Is there any chance we can enforce religion? <laughs> The prestige is quite good as well. Uh, war reparations. Uh, that's going to be, you know, there's no real benefit to doing that. Apart from, actually, I take it back. Um, there is one, isn't there? Yeah, force another to change their religion to yours. Um, so, yes, I think we will, in fact, go ahead and do that. So, for a little bit of extra splendor power. There we go. Also... Oh, actually, did they... No, they didn't have a centre of reformation. That's a shame. That would have been good. Okay, won the Siege of Antwerp. Um, so, we have good enough war score now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this army out of here. Brilliant. Okay, slowly but surely. Right. So, if I wanted to sue for peace now, which you won't do... But, so if I wanted to take those, what's the coalition looking like? Castile, Brittany, Portugal don't really care. Strasbourg, Palatinate, Nassau, in fact, Brunswick would be pretty pissed. But that's not that bad. I was expecting a bit worse. We want all of their cash. Uh, we can also get them to revoke a core on one of our other provinces, which is going to be helpful. No point in releasing nations, because they'll just rejoin the... Uh, the Republic. No need to force religion, but that that's the kind of deal I'm looking for. Okay, so if we wait a little bit longer here, um, we can separate peace out Hamburg. Might wait for the turn of the year, because then uh, aggressive expansion will drop with a couple of countries. So, Commonwealth has declared a unification war. Really? So they're attempting to grab a PU over Hungary. Austria is not involved. They could not care less. <laughs> That's interesting. It's very interesting. Right, so we'll wait for this siege to finish over here with Hamburg. As soon as that's finished, we'll separate piece Hamburg. So what, what's the parameters here? Oh, you have to have a royal marriage to claim the throne, but we could have theoretically claim that throne because they have an average ruler there. Okay, pause. So before that battle, we want to sue for peace against Hamburg. So again, ducats. Uh, actually, um, you have an alliance with Sweden. Let's go ahead and ditch that. War reparations. That'll do. There we go. Right, so... That battle still happened, but that was with Netherlands ships and not Hamburg ships. We also captured a boat... Oh, yes! Uh, the Netherlands ships had nowhere to go, so we ended up uh, snagging all their ships and battling them all the way. Right, so we're going to grab a couple of lights here. Move those over there. 
Uh, I think there was a transport that snuck in there as well because we managed to nick a transport. So let's bring you over to here to repair up. And we also want to repair up the, the lights that we've got protecting trade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the, uh, the episode right here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait until the turn of the year before suing for peace because then a little bit of aggressive expansion will disappear with a couple of those countries. So we might be able to just reduce that coalition size a little bit, which is worth waiting two months to do. But otherwise, that's going to be it for now. So cheers for watching, guys. This has been Submitted Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for more Emperor DLC gameplay here in EU4 as Great Britain.